Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, a DIY like today, your go-to recipe, DIY, and lifestyle channel. Today we're going to be making some stovetop tuna casserole, gluten and dairy free. If you like this type of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button as it really helps support my channel. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that notification bell and be notified every time I upload new videos. Now on to the recipe. We're going to be taking a red pepper, a white onion, and some organic cremony mushrooms. You can alter this to your own taste and put whatever vegetables you would like. We're going to be putting this into a frying pan and reducing down until everything is completely well cooked. I add some, also some vegetable broth while this is cooking and I reduce it down until it's completely well cooked and put it in a separate bowl and set aside. Then we're going to take another frying pan and add our spices. I add paprika, cumin, garlic, salt, pepper, nutritional yeast, mayonnaise, and a tapioca starch to make a roux, as well as some vegetable broth. Then we're going to be heating up a pot of water on the stovetop until it comes to a boil. And then we're going to be adding our Gogo -Go Quinoa Spirally Noodles. I love the Gogo -Go Quinoa Pasta. It's absolutely fabulous. Um, it's an alternative to a corn-based pasta, which tends to bother me. Once there's three minutes left on the timer as we cook this pasta for 13 minutes, I add in two and a half cups of frozen peas and carrots. You can also add broccoli, frozen broccoli, or just frozen peas, um, whatever frozen vegetable uh, you prefer, but the peas and carrots we prefer and go fabulous with this casserole recipe. Once the 13 minutes is up, then we're going to drain well in a, stra in a strainer over the sink and put the vegetables and the pasta back in the pot. I'm then going to add our beautiful cheesy cream sauce. Now this recipe makes a nice big pot. It can serve anywhere from six to 10 people depending on whether or not you're having it as a side dish or a main meal. And if you wanted as well, you could take some gluten-free breadcrumbs and some diet cheese and put it in a pan and bake it in the oven if you prefer it that way. But this is a nice, easy stovetop method, which is quick, especially when we're short on time and you want to put, put a meal together really quickly. Once I've mixed everything thoroughly in the pot, I then add three cans of skipjack and water tuna. Now you can also admit the tuna and this would be a vegetarian or vegan mixture. Obviously you can substitute the mayonnaise for a veganese or a vegan mayo and, and omit the tuna and this would be a completely vegan dish as well. So as you can see, you can alter this recipe to meet your, your nutritional and dietary needs. So once we've combined everything really well, it's then going to be ready to serve. Hmm, doesn't that look delicious? So today I'm serving for two and making um, additional for leftovers, kind of meal prep so we have some extra throughout the week. It, it will save well in the fridge for up to five days. And there you have it, your easy peasy stovetop tuna casserole, gluten and dairy free. Thank you so much for joining me for another day like today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye bye.